very special meeting took place today. Henry Frasca is his name. He is nine years old. When Chris Davis was having the worst slump any baseball player has ever had, he came to the ballpark when Chris was playing here at Fenway, and he wrote a letter to Chris. And that letter is the subject of what Henry talked about today at the ballpark. I'm Henry Frasca from Massachusetts. I'm a big Red Sox fan, but I love baseball. It's, it's my life. Now, you're not here because of the Red Sox, though. You're here because of the Orioles, right? I am. How come? Tell us what, why you're here. Um, I'm here because I wrote a letter to Chris Davis during his 0 for 56. Yep. I think that's I think that's 0 for 56. Um, that was the longest in MLB history. And when I decided to write a note, um, and that day he had three hits, drove a couple runs, uh, two doubles, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why did you write the letter? What prompted you to do that? Once I was hurting, just, I didn't like it, so I decided to try to help him out. I would love it if you would read the letter that you wrote to Chris Davis, okay? Take your time. Dear Mr. Davis, from Henry Frasca, nine, a nine-year-old kid and diehard Red Sox fan. There are two things I want you to know. First, the way you, you play baseball has absolutely nothing to do with how good a person you are. Also, you are incredible. <laughs> you played in the MLB, you've done it for a long time, and everyone goes through a slump. Don't, don't give up. We're rooting for you. Sincerely, Henry Fasco. You know, I just got a copy of this today, Henry, and I just want you to know how impressed I was when I read this particular sentence. You know, the way you play baseball has nothing to do with how good a person you are. Do you know what a wonderful thing that is to say? Huh? Where did you come up with that? Where did you get those from? Your, your mom and dad, where'd that come from? of random thoughts that happen to occur at good times but um just I'm not sure don't don't worry about where it came from the important thing is you got it and you do have it harry it's a magnificent letter i know you're gonna have an opportunity to uh see chris and so I uh, can't wait for you to uh, have a chance to meet him. Thank you very much for doing this with us. And uh, thank you for being a very inspiring young man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that was Henry on the bench. And then a little while later, Chris Davis came out. Now, they had never met before. Henry did not know that Chris, one, had actually received the letter, and two, that he has carried it around with him for the entire season. Chris said just so moved when I got that that I said I have a little Bible I carry with me and I folded the letter up and I put it inside the Bible and I've kept it with me ever since it was delivered to me here at Fenway Park. Then Henry went out and he shagged some balls. He threw about a hundred of them into the crowd because he thought it was a good idea to give them away. <laughs> and then after he did that they came to the bench. He and Chris definitely caught me off guard, uh, but I mean, it, it meant enough to me for me to carry it around the rest of the day, and um, it was pretty cool. I mean, I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't get a little choked up, but um, it was it was cool for me, and, and it just kind of gave me a little bit of inspiration um, for that day, and it turned out to be a pretty good day. What did you feel like when you found out Chris not only got your letter, but he kept it with him and still has it? Um, well, I, I only learned that he still has it and kept it today. I know. But, um, I was, I was incredibly happy. I just wanted to give him a hug. Um, I think a lot of times, uh, people don't really imp realize how much they impact us. Uh, it, it certainly with, with something like that, uh, at, at that moment in time, going through what I was going through to get, a letter that was that encouraging and uh, and from a nine-year-old 
uh, it was uh, it was pretty special. Anything else you want to say to Chris? Just to thank him for, for the best day of my life. All right. We'll do it again.